What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to track my face in the intro with my Bitmoji faces. So in Final Cut, go ahead and I imported my main file. All right, go ahead and zoom in. And I'm gonna cut it down to basically right when I start to walk in so like right there I'll, st I'll start it and then I'm gonna end it right on it right there so I'm gonna take my side view of my face and I'm going to uh, put it put it on top and I'm basically gonna have that play until I turn forward so probably right there. I'm gonna zoom in. Now we're gonna do the whole point of this is adding keyframes and moving the Bitmoji face um, every frame. So we're gonna scale the Bitmoji face down to size. Let's say about let's make it 50%. Okay, we're gonna rotate this so it's straight. That's about, that's about right. Click the transform over here to um, to move it. Actually, let's resize it some more. Let's, we want it to be about that size. Okay, but we're gonna start at the first frame. Is right here we want to move this just like that move that over there drag it now from here you want to make sure your um, your clip is selected and you're at the very first frame which is right there and then click on this to add keyframe okay so now we've um, we've made all these yellow which means now we're adding keyframes where we're gonna move the bitmoji face every frame so from here, you press the uh, the right arrow key to move to the next frame. And then you want to drag the Bitmoji face to where it should be. Press the right key again, and then move the Bitmoji face again. And this is a little time taking because you're, you're moving it every frame. But you're going to get the idea of that it's being animated or that it's going to be tracked to whatever you're trying to track. So you just go ahead and keep doing this until the very end of the clip. Now you see the line, the tracking line. Um, if you're doing this correctly, you should be seeing that tracking line with all the gray dots. Now we're just about done until we change the angle of my Bitmoji face. One more frame. And then from here, so let's, I'll show you a little test run of how it looks so far. So rewind our playhead and then press spacebar to play it. Okay, so now we have to add the, uh, the front view which is this one just drag and drop and then we want to cut that until basically I'm gonna start walking off again using the side bitmoji profile so right there we'll just cut about right there so now we're gonna do the same thing with the front clear the front view clear so let's go ahead and resize it scale now we want about the same size as the the side view. So yeah. Man, let's make it 37%. 
All right, now we want to go ahead and click the transform button again and drag it over my face. Change the angle a little bit to kind of match the angle of my head. Whoa. That's about right. Drag it into place. Now remember to move the, the playhead at the very beginning of the clip, the very first frame. Make sure you have that clip selected with a yellow um, border around it. So basically the first frame starts right here. So now we're gonna, once again, um, get that keyframe selection by clicking on the transform button here and then click on the keyframe right there. So now we've added it, see the yellow, the ye yellow uh, diamonds over there. So now we're gonna move it every frame, right key, right arrow key, dra drag and move, right arrow key, drag and move. And this is Final Cut Pro X, um, my editor program of choice. I love Final Cut Pro X. I can do any, anything and everything that I need to do for all my projects here. It's a great editing software tool. So at some point, my I'm not really moving, so I'm just gonna keep my head in place for a little bit. So we're about done with this clip and then we're going to go back to using the side profile as I walk off. Okay. So we don't want to copy and paste the first side view because it's going to take all those keyframes along with it. So we're just going to, from the import library, just drag a new, uh, another clear side view bitmoji and we're going to what we're gonna do, we're gonna just go back to the first clip, get the same size, so we have it at 38.23%. So click on the, the other one, make it 38 point, what did I say, 23%. So now it's the same size as the first, first side view. So click on the clip, move the playhead to the very first frame, transform button, let's drag it into place. Adjust our angle and placement. And then we're gonna add new keyframes for this one as we walk off. Trans hit the transform button, keyframe, okay, all yellow. That means we can start. Right arrow key as we walk off and drag our bitmoji face. That's the best side profile view of my bitmoji that i could find in the bitmoji library i wish there was a an exact side profile of my bitmoji face but you get the idea i want to have two different angles um because because i'm walking and i'm showing two angles of my face now also you can if you hit shift arrow it'll move your keyframes five frames over so you can so you can get it done a little bit faster. So we'll do it from here on these last few frames. So see how it jumped, the, the playhead jumped. So we're just gonna drag it like that. Shift right arrow key to skip another five or so frames. Now it went to four far forward. So from here, just to be precise as my head comes out of view, I'm just gonna go frame by frame. But yeah, if you wanna skip, if you wanna skip a few frames to drag your, whatever you're dragging, you, you hold shift and the right arrow key and it'll move five frames forward and then just, just drag and drag your object into place. And last frame and that's it. So I'm going to, uh, chop off the end of that and now we're going to preview zoom out command minus move the playhead back to the beginning and then press, press spacebar to preview it and there you go you are able to track an object um, in your video so one last thing let's go ahead and add my keyer effect to my green screen clip, go to uh, click on the effects tab, 
um, just search all and just type in key and you'll get it. So that, there's key here. You want to drag that on your clip with the green screen. That's what it looks like with that. And then we'll, we'll add the background. So just drag your background underneath your keyed green screen clip. And um, now we can trim that. And now everything with the backs uh, with the with the background underneath the green screen clip, um, you'll see the background. And there's your final product. And that's how you track an object such as my Bitmoji face um, in Final Cut Pro X. So it looks like it's an animated portion. If this video helped you to learn how to track, please hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so you can be notified of any future tutorials and leave any comments or suggestions down below. I'd appreciate it. Till next time, guys. I'm DJ Avionics. See you later.